So talk about Juneteenth and, and why we do value that day, why we can't stop with the celebration of Juneteenth. I think that the, one thing there was a bigger picture, and that was when Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. He initially issued it in September 1862, given the Southern states 100 days basically to come to their senses and rejoin the Union. 100 days from the September, I think it's September 22nd, was January 1st. And on December 31st is when a lot of the enslaved people watch through the night, praying through the night, that on the next day, uh, January 1st, they would be free. And that was called a watch night, a watch night service. And even today in our, in our culture, a lot of the churches still have watch night they services. Okay. And wow. um, so January 1st, the people in the enslaved states or the slave states were free. Now, however, the southern states had seceded from the Union. So the only way for those enslaved people to be free is for them to run away. As the Union soldiers advanced throughout the South, they were able to help the slave to be free, but the slave owners were fighting against that because, again, they were the Confederate states, and in the Confederate states, slavery was fine. As the news passed through or traveled throughout the South, those people who heard about it um, left plantations or they worked out some agreement with their former slave owners to be so-called free. But it was basically enforced by Union soldiers. Now, Texas is the farthest uh, slave state west. So it took a little while for the uh, Union soldiers to get to Texas. Again, it was two and a half years later. Mm. So for two and a half years, the slave owners in Texas were getting free labor. 1863 is when the Emancipation Proclamation was um, valid. So two years later, in 1865, mm -hmm. is when... Um, Granger got to Texas to free the slaves. So when General Granger finally arrived in Galveston in uh, June 19th, so they were the last ones to be emancipated. Now, several months later after that is in December of 1865 was when the 13th Amendment was um, passed. And the 13th Amendment legally freed the slaves in all of the states, no matter where they were. So whether it was a slaveholding state or a free state, because even with the Emancipation Proclamation, the northern states, or the states that did not secede, still had legalized slavery. So that included uh, Kentucky and uh, portions of Louisiana, and there, I think it's Virginia, and there's a couple of other areas that still had legalized slavery because they did not secede from the Union. Okay. So the, the Juneteenth is a celebration but it is the um, 13th Amendment that legally freed the slaves, or the enslaved people. That's an education uh, that I did not receive in school. <laughs> yeah, received, most of us did not. I received it just now, okay. Mm -hmm.